Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is how to set up your sales page. So if you wanna sell your course, of course you need to have an amazing sales page. So let's go ahead and set up the sales page for the test course on Teachable One. So you can see here, it does some of the heavy lifting for you. It already puts the title, it gives you a little bit of a subheader, it gives you some information on what your course is about and you can fill that out. It has your picture, so you as the instructor has your picture and it even shows people step-by-step step the curriculum that they'll learn when they sign up for the course and has an FAQ session and two buy buttons so people can go ahead and purchase your course. So you can see there when people click, they're going to go right to the paying page, the payment page, and they can click, they can see how much everything costs, they can put their credit card details in there and sign up. And the cool thing is for Teachable, if somebody has purchased multiple courses on Teachable, they can actually log in and see multiple courses that you've created. So if you have a super fan who loves all of your courses, they can log in with one login, they'll see their account information here, and they can access multiple courses that you've created. And this is really especially awesome if you're doing a membership course and you're gonna offer multiple different lessons that people can sign up for. So if you're part of my membership Muse program, my Yes Dream Clients program, or a lot of my other premium courses, I do walk you through step-by-step step how to create a sales page, what kind of content to put on your sales page, and how to write really incredible sales copy. Today, I'm not gonna be going deep into how to actually write your sales page to sell your course, but I'm going to show you what you want to put on it. So here for sales page, you'll remember that on this information section of Teachable, there's an option for a featured background. So what I want to do is just replace this image uh, and put it in the featured background. And you can upload any image you want for this part. So I've added my image here. Now you can find free stock photos on websites like unsplash.com, or you can look for paid stock photos on websites like stocksea.com. I actually took this picture myself when I was first starting off my business. Here you can also see you have the option to add in a promo video. So you can go ahead and create a video for yourself um, if you wanna use that to promote your website. So now that I've added this featured image, I'm going to go and head over to the sales page. And you can see that the picture that I just uploaded is now being used as the background. Now, like I was saying before, in some of my premium courses, I walk you through step-by-step step exactly what you want to put on your sales page. But right now, I'm just going to give you a brief uh, sort of outline of what I would do. So you can see here it says test course on Teachable. Right here I would just write in a little bit of information on what my course is all about. So to do that I can just head back to the Teachable setup page and you can see here it says course description. So it says learn the ins and outs of getting started with your course or membership on Teachable. And just below you can add a few simple jot notes on what your course will entail. So maybe I'll say learn the steps of setting up your course, make your tech set up easy, learn how to structure your lessons on your course, Find out where to get free and paid stock photos for your sales pages. <laughs> And I'm really just setting this up as I go. And so if you need to update the text in any way, maybe add some bold, change the size of the font, highlight anything, you'll see all the tools are here to do that. So I may just indent this to make it look a little bit nicer. And then I'm gonna click the save button below.
and I can go ahead and preview it. So I'm going to go back and preview the sales page. And I can see how great it looks. So once this is launched, I'll be able to send people right to the sales page and they'll be able to see the headline, what my course is called, some jot notes about what my course is about. People can learn a little bit about me, see what curriculum is offered in the course, get answers to the FAQ, and get started. To make any other updates to my school, I can just head back to the Teachable homepage, and right here on the sidebar, you'll see this little section that says Pages and Sales Page. So when you click on that, you can see here, it has the hero header, if there's a coupon, you can add in the coupon there. You'll see this is the course description that we added, my bio, the curriculum is right here. If you're offering any bundles, you can customize that there. If you want to update the questions in your FAQ, so if people have any questions on what your course will have, you can add that in there. There's a second option to add in coupons. You can put any other letters, any other words, any other descriptions of your course in here. You can customize your enroll button. And here are a few other options that you can add. And just make sure that when you do any customizations to be sure to click on the save button so you don't do all the work and then it doesn't actually save.